Hi, I'm Alex Bellis with IHS Automotive, and we're here today with a 2015 Lincoln MKC. Now, this is their new small crossover vehicle, and it features not only the usual MyLincoln Touch system, but also a new MyLincoln mobile app. Now, the mobile app includes things like remote door unlock, remote engine start, a vehicle locator, and a few other features that we'll dive into later. And that's kind of a new feature that, that adds more value to this Lincoln MKC. On top of that, there's still the usual MyLincoln Touch interface with an 8-inch touchscreen, as well as a whole bunch of safety features, like a camera for forward collision warning and lane keep assist, as well as adaptive cruise control and blind spot detection, as well as the automatic park assist feature. But let's take a deeper dive inside at how this Lincoln integrates all of these features and how it works on the road. Now inside the MKC, We've got this familiar 8-inch touchscreen for the MyLincoln Touch system, and that includes the four quadrants like you'd expect. So you've got your audio functions, you've got your phone functions, there's navigation, and there's HVAC controls. Lincoln has also ditched the capacitive touch panel that we saw in the MKZ for more traditional buttons and knobs. And you'll notice that there's no shift or anything here. It's all controlled by these push buttons on the left side of the screen. And we like that because it moves the center panel kind of out a little bit, so everything's a little bit easier to reach. And you have plenty of space down here for drinks or your phone or you know anything you would normally stick in the center console. Now moving over to the steering wheel, we have really easy to reach and easy to use buttons. And they control a 10 inch screen in the instrument cluster display. So there's a whole bunch of features that you can control and switch around and play with on the instrument cluster. The only thing we didn't really like about the steering wheel controls, though, is that some of these auxiliary controls for voice command or changing volume were a little on the small side, and you really had to look at them to figure out what they were. Now, this is something that over time people are likely to learn and pick up, and it'll become easier, but during our test, it was a little unfamiliar and took a little while to learn. One other thing is voice rec. There's a lot of commands. There's a lot of functionality that you can control through voice recognition. And with that, again, it's an increased learnability thing. It'll take a while to learn all the commands, but they're really powerful and intuitive once you kind of get the feel for it. Now, inside the MKC, we have a THX certified 14 speaker, 700 watt audio system. Now, THX doesn't actually make the speakers or amplifier, but they do all the sound processing, and it's really impressive, especially when listening to sources like an iPod. You can really hear a much better sound than you can in a lot of other systems. Now, I wouldn't go ahead and say this is a class leading system, but it's definitely up there. One other thing to note, though, is that it has a 5.1 channel surround sound system, but without a DVD audio player, you don't really get the full audio surround sound function that you'd get in some of the other vehicles in this class. Now, the SD card based navigation system here in the MKC is very rich and full featured, however, we found that there's a little bit of lag in the system, and some of the colors, especially for the roadways, the route, and some of the traffic colors, all being nearly the same shade of green, to be a little bit off-putting. On top of that, there really isn't any branded off-board POI search. Sure, Sync Services offers a call-in service that you can use to find POIs, but there's no Bing or Google local search integrated into this system. On top of that, even with the MyLink and mobile app, there isn't any destination send a car. So that was, again, a little bit frustrating. However, the, the onboard POI map database is actually pretty rich and robust, so you really shouldn't have too many problems finding uh, the POIs that you may be looking for. Now, the MKC offers a bit of a hybrid telematics system in that it has embedded telematics features as well as a mobile app that also has functionality. In this case, we also have Sirius XM Travel Link, which gives you things like weather, traffic information, movie times, sports information, and all that kind of usual stuff that you'd expect from Sirius XM. But going above and beyond that, we also have the MyLink and mobile app, which gives you vehicle remote start, it gives you door unlock and locking functionality, it has a vehicle finder, and then in part of the embedded telematics, you also have things like stolen vehicle finder, there's some form of uh, onboard telemetry and vehicle diagnostics, you also have a vehicle health report, but the one thing that's really missing is any form of apps. There's even an apps button built into the services 
feature in the car, but there's really nothing in there. There's no internet radio, there's no off-board telematic searches, there's just, there really isn't the functionality that we'd expect. Especially when you look at a lot of other manufacturers that are competing in this segment. Things like Nissan Connect or Toyota Entune. They're both loaded up with features and apps, but they just aren't available here in this Lincoln. Now, the MKC is actually pretty loaded up with safety tech as well. So there's a camera right above the rear view mirror that works with the lane keep assist system as well as the Ford Collision Warning System. And with the Ford Collision Warning, there's a row of lights that flashes on the dash for you if you get too close to the vehicle in front of you and you're not braking hard enough. So it's just kind of a little alert to let you know that you need to pay more attention and, and get on the brakes hard. Now, there's also a radar sensor in the front grille that works with the adaptive cruise control system. So this will lock onto the vehicle in front of you and allow you to follow them at speed, even in traffic. Now, one other thing we noticed is that this actually has active grille shutters. And so these will open and close to control airflow into the engine and improve aerodynamics. Now, moving farther back on the vehicle, we have a rear view camera with parking sensors all the way around the vehicle. And we also have sensors in the rear quarter panels that work with the blind spot detection system as well as the rear cross traffic alert. Now, the blind spot detection system worked fine, but we found the rear cross traffic alert system to be a little bit too touchy. It would pick up nearly anything, whether it was a bush, a trash can, a moving car, a person, and it became kind of too intrusive sometimes, and it would always go off whenever the car was in reverse, it seemed like. So, we didn't really love the rear cross traffic alert, but the rest of the ADAS systems worked out excellently. Now, with a base price of $33,000, with the Lincoln MKC, you do get a lot of bang for the buck. Now, as this model is equipped, at just under $50,000, you get a lot more technology and a lot more safety features. Now in this case, we have the almost $7,000 reserve group, which sounds like a lot, but when you get features like the heated and cooled seats, the full roof panoramic sunroof, and then this funky power lift gate that requires a little bit of dancing and only sometimes works, um, you get a lot of features that are both practical and useful. Additionally, we have a $2,300 technology package that includes all the safety features we just talked about. And in terms of value, you're kind of looking squarely at vehicles like the BMW X3, the new Lexus NX, and the Audi Q3. In terms of looks, we think this vehicle is every bit as good as the competition, if not better. But in terms of technology, it is missing some of the features like integrated apps and some of the embedded telematics functions that we've come to expect. For more on this and other automotive reviews, check out IHS.com slash automotive or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Seriously? Seriously? Wh why? Hey, success! <laughs>